Jared Poland Fronos Photo dot com and it is dot dot com dot com and it's time for Raw Edit of the Week number seventy nine as well as your Raw Edits of the Week 78, and it's brought to you by allenscamera.com. Check them out for all the newest gear and used stuff and all that good stuff like that. But before we get into this, I want to remind you guys who have not subscribed that you can subscribe to the Fronos Photo channel by clicking the subscribe button on any of the videos or, or and in addition to that, when you do that, just highlight over this without clicking, and you can click also email me for each new upload. So when I upload a new video you will get an email telling you when it goes live so you won't miss one. So let's get into the raw edit of the week for 79, and it's this castle. Now, I know it may look interesting to you, like maybe there's not much you could do to it, um, but I am thinking Game of Thrones here. I would like to see some Game of Thrones edits that are just, I don't care if they're HDR, I don't care if they go into... Photoshop and you rip it to shreds and you cut pieces out and you put other pieces in and you just have fun with it. It is an interesting file to work with because the steeple, the church, that aspect of this looks cool. It looks good. But the, you know, the skyscraper in the background, the new buildings in the foreground doesn't make it look like an old shot. So part of what the raw edit of the week is all about is taking a file that's close, not only editing it, but making it better. How can you make this image better? And I think a Game of Thrones edit would be really kick-ass. And just as a quick little sample, I'll show you what the photographer of this shot ended up doing. There you go. There's a quick look at it. That's the quickest look that I'm going to give you. But I think you guys can come up, so, come up with some really cool stuff for it. So it's Raw Edit of the Week number 79. Make sure you call it Fronos Photo. Raw Edit 79. Upload it to the Fronos Photo Forum. And that's where I pick your raw edits of the week from each and every week. So there you have it. Taken at 1 640th of a second, F4, ISO 200, with a 50 millimeter 1.8 lens, it looks like. And it was shot at, well, shot at F4 on a D90. So I think there's some cool edits to be had from this. Now let's go look at your edits from raw edit of the week 78 of the girl with the, in front of the wall. So we'll be right back with that right now. Our raw edits of the week 78 of this lady model in front of graffiti, in front of chain link fences, in front of just a lot of interesting things. So this file was interesting. There was a lot of things that you could do with it. Not always do you want to put people in front of graffiti and things like that because it will take away from the model. But I think there's some strong edits here that really make this image into a wiener. Winner. 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 And... So let's look at them. I thought the editing and the color and clarity of this file worked really, really well. That's why I picked it. The graffiti looks good, but the model looks great as well. Moving for, for, forward, we're just going to go down. We're going to move down. So I picked this because I like the colors. I like the pink. They pump the pink of the lips. It looks good. But the cockeyed angle is just enough to drive me crazy and tell you not to call me, not even maybe, not at all. I just think that the cockeyed angles don't work. Uh, these Dutch angles, they just detract. Like, I'll say it again, and I say it a million times. If the image isn't strong enough to stand on its own shot vertically or horizontally, then adding an angle isn't going to add dimension and make your image any better. But I like the processing and editing, just not the crop and angle. Same thing with this, but I thought this was so extreme that I should just show it. It's overly extreme, over the top, but I just wanted to show it. Here's a nice black and white. I like that it draws you right into the model, right into the middle, and sure, you've got the no parking sign, yawn. <sighs> and the guy over there on the, with the brush and all that stuff, but I still think it stands out on its own. She looks good here, it looks good. Ooh, that looks, that's nice. Look at this edit, I love it. I love the glowy McGlowerson right up here, up top of that light. It looks awesome. Just really feeling this edit. I know it's like an HDR, but that's fine. This, this has a really cool feel. It draws me right into the subject. Very nice job. Then we've got a vertical crop of it so that the focus is right on the, uh, the, the model. And with the D3100, this is really nice. Look how clean that looks, even with the crop that the photographer, the editor, did. This looks good because this is a nice composition. This is another interesting edit. It kind of gives it that canon look. And I say that and some people yell and say, well, 
you know, whatever. This is the kind of look that you see from a lot of cannons from time to time. I know this was taken with a Nikon. It just has that different color. It's not good. It's not bad. I'm not ripping on one or the other. Just saying that it's, it has that type of edit. It looks good here. So we've got another creative square crop where they put the model off to the left and kept the other person to the right. I like the black and white. It's nice and thick. It's boomified. It looks good. It's just kind of the focus goes right to the wall, not to the girl. I thought this was very, very interesting. They skewed, they skewed the walls to then lead you with leading lines into the, uh, the, the model. So I think it looks pretty good. Obviously, the colors messed up between one leg to the other, but I thought it was fun and creative. This is a little better crop. It, it, it focuses still on the model more than anything else, but it's definitely strong, and the color is very nice. That takes us to the bottom. Let me go back to the top. We've got a squ uh, This is a nice crop. It's an okay raw edit. I think they may have done something to their eyes a little bit to bring it out, but, you know, the crop's good, and the boomified is nice. Then we have a, a very thin crop, but I like the color. I like the feel of it, and I like the tone overall. Nice job. This is very good as well. I like the color of the lips and the jacket. Um, it's nice and clean. It's solid. It looks nice, and I like how the colors are all mostly pulled out. You can tell the differences from some of the other pictures, but it looks really good. I think it really makes the model pop, and that's what the raw edit's about. This was very creative. The one street light showing on her, uh, the background just changed. It just this is very creative in Photoshop. And and I'll say this: there's you know even though I'm not a big fan of HDR and I'm not a big fan of highly processed images, these days you have the tools that allow you to do so many things with your images. And the type of images that I tend not to like that are overprocessed or well that are processed a ton are the ones that are overprocessed way too many filters used, way too many techniques used, and they're just over the top and they look over the top. But when you see something like this that was done in a much better fashion, it's cleaner. Yes, you can tell that it's highly produced, but it looks good because it's not over the top. That's what I think is cool about going into Photoshop or going into whatever program you're going to go into and making it work. So I'm not against people doing that in Photoshop. It's just when you overdo it, it just looks fake. Um, another nice color edit. There's another crop here. I think this is a little better. I'm drawn to the, the model this time, but I like the colors and the tones. Right in the middle. Yeah, and that takes us back to the beginning. So there you have the raw edit of the week number 78 and the file for 79. Well, we know what that is. That's the Game of Thrones edit that we're looking for. Have a ton of fun with that. But before we sign off or before I sign off, don't forget to sign up for the Frono's Photo email list by clicking here. Put your name, email address in there. Not only will you get a guide to capturing motion in low light for free, in the first email, you will also get a 60-minute long flash video that Adam and I made for you guys in the studio. So it's a killer video. Be sure to sign up, hit send it, and that will be sent right to you. So we will see you guys next week for the next Raw Edit. Nice job, Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.